चलो चलो शुरू करते हैं हम ओके कैमरा से भी ऑन रखो ना क्या कर रहे हो तो लेट मी शेयर द स्क्रीन यहाँ गया हमारा व्हाइट बोर्ड और हम शुरू करते हैं रीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन सीरम फॉर दिस एलपी स्पेसेस बिग एलपी स्पेसेस एंड इन फंक्शन इस इस वन इट्स समवर सिमिलर आ गया मेरा हाँ ये पेन चाहिए मुझे ओके सो लेट मी स्टेट फर्स्ट द सीरम तो ये ब्लू कहाँ से आ गया रीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन थे नो इट इज एक्चुअली देर आर मेनी रीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन सीरम्स व्हिच इज बेसिकली अबाउट द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्रोल्स विथ सम कंक्रीट स्पेस सो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट मी फर्स्ट स्टेट इट इन द केस ऑफ एलपी स्पेसेस नाउ लेट admit that x which has a collection of sets right on which we have defined a measure b a measure space a measure space then for one less than p less than infinity let this capital f belong to l belong to l p mu star and it's a functional on the collection of functions that are measurable and p to power integrable then there exists then there exists A unique G belonging to L Q mu. That is a measurable function, which is Q to power integrable. Hmm. How P and Q mu are relation? Hey, they are conjugate exponent, exponents. What are they called? Conjugate exponents. One by P plus one by Q is equal to one. Such that the action. f of the smaller is equal to integral f g d mu mm, for all f belonging to l p mu mm, such that and jo ki hum prove kar chuke hain if we prove this then uh, so this is also proved I think ये हम प्रूव कर चुके हैं हाँ प्रोवाइडेड वी प्रूव दिस दे दिस इज अगर हम ये प्रूव करें तो बाय प्रीवियस चेयरम दिस इज आल्सो ऑटोमेटिकली प्रूव दैट्स इफ वी प्रूव स्टार यानी हम कह रहे हैं कि हर कोई लीनियर फंक्शनल इस इंटीग्रल की तरह काम करता है ना विश यू रिमेंबर दो स्मॉल एलपी स्पेसेस सो सपोज एल पी स्टार हमने ऐसे ही किया था फॉर द सेम सी एक तरह से हमने किया था फॉर एवरी लेट मी टेक ए सीक्वेंस एवरी एफ बिलोंगिंग टू एल पी स्टार हमने किया था देर एग्जिस्ट ए वाई इक्वल टू वाई वन वाई टू ए सीक्वेंस बिलोंगिंग टू एल क्यू यहाँ पर भी वही है वन लेस देन पी लेस देन इन्फिनिटी एंड वन बाई पी प्लस वन बाई क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन सो थ्री पीपल वेटिंग तो इनको एडमिट करते हैं तो हमें ऐसे किया था सो वी हैव शोन दैट देन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू समेशन एक्स के वाई के के रन फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी 
where of course x is the sequence x is equal to x1, x2, so on and so forth. It is p to power sequences, of course. Actually, I should write for all x belonging to LP. So this is how we did that. Well, essentially, it's more respect for a canning, except it involves the integration theory, the big integration theory. Mm. Otherwise, it is the same thing because integral is also a sort of a sum. The limit of some sum essentially of the values fx into gx. So, so I can, if I think of this sequence as a function from set of natural numbers to the scalar field or R or C, so it is pretty much equivalent. So, so now we are going to prove it for this thing. And of course, if I combine the theorem with the combine theorem, if I combine it with what I did last time, yeah, last yesterday actually, that it would mean that LP mu is dual hai, that is equal to LQ uh, for all one less than P less than infinity, uh, one by P plus one by Q. But combined with the previous theorem, it would mean Reese's representation theorem would imply this. And of course, it would also imply that LPs are reflexive for all one less than P less than one, as is the case with small LPs. They are reflexive spaces. And LP mu, as a double star here, it is the same as LP or is isometrically isomorphic with LP. Uh, essentially, they are the same. So, okay, let's leave it there. But I have as you can see, I have excluded the case in case P is equal to one. And a L1 mu ka star B hota hai L1, sorry, it is L infinity mu. So we have, include, we have excluded this case because my P is bigger than one. So this is also true, but there is a slight change because then X has to be a sigma finite measure space. That's because this is just a measurable kind of, this is a subset of the, how should I say it? We don't have at our disposal the convergence theorems of integration that we have. Okay, we'll see when we come to that. Okay. First, we do it for p greater than one. Of course, it's a long proof involves some construction. Let's get started. Pale uniqueness because that's very simple to prove. Now, uniqueness, if I say two functions, G do now let I have two G's, say G1, G2, belonging to LQ mu with f of f equal to integral f g1 d mu equal to integral f g2 d mu uh, for all f belonging to lp mu it would imply that integral is in the linearity of integrals g1 minus g2 d mu is equal to zero for all f belonging to LP mu. Now, which can only happen if G1 f into G1 minus G2 is equal to zero almost everywhere for all f belonging to LP mu, which can be only true if G1 minus G2 is equal to zero for all f belonging to LP. Hmm? Because I can replace this by f by some characteristic function, you know, of a measurable set, then this cannot be true unless g1 minus g2 is equal to zero. And characteristic functions of measurable sets would be contained inside LP. Right? Right. I just need a um, you know, I said both measure is not the same. Okay, mm, I have done it. So G1 is equal to G2. 
So that was done. Now, proof. So, now we prove the existence of this F. Now remember, uh, I have got F belongs to LP mu star. I have to find, uh, we have to find G belonging to LQ mu such that F of F is equal to integral FGD mu for all F belonging to L sub P. Now this is what we have to find. And we know it would be unique as we've done. Uh, not just now we did that it has to be unique if that's the case. Now step one, let me go step one. Step one. Okay, we prove we we prove we prove the existence of G in two steps. Let's call first step one. refer Assume that x s mu is a finite measure space. Finite measure space. By that, what does that mean? That means some ye man ke children and mu measure of whole space is finite. Okay. Okay. Now define what we do. I already have a measure. Define new from new measurable sets which form a sigma algebra to R. And of course, this this can well, we have got a collection of measurable sets once we have a measure defined. So I take all those measurable sets and I define on them a function new by of course I'm assuming that. We're dealing with real spaces. And I think the underlying field is real. Complex it's more complicated. So, but this is the proof. But we are going to prove it for only real normal danger spaces. Our underlying field is the domain or range of functions. There are many functions only from x to are ah, many functions. That is, f is measurable. In a f belongs to LP mu. It means this is equal to this set of functions. F is measurable, and this is integral. Okay, let's see what So, we will define a new of a for any new measurable set is f of characteristic function of a for all A belonging to new measurable sets. Now, since new measurable set here, the characteristic function of A, let me write it down. Then characteristic function of A would always belong to LP mu for any A belonging to uh, new measurable sets. That's lambda mu. Well, that's not this. Right, because by the way, characteristic function of a measurable set is obviously measurable. And then it's integral be over measure of that set. So it's well defined. And, and since it is going to be a finite number, f of something, f is f is a map, f is a map from LP mu to R. Like so, other map is well defined. Then, what we do next? Clearly, uh, new of phi would be f capital F of characteristic function of phi, which has to be zero, because characteristic function of phi is a zero function, and f would send zero function to zero because f is a bounded linear map and f is and f belongs to lp mu kajo star 
it's a boundary linear map, sends zero to zero. And if a n is a disjoint sequence, is a disjoint sequence of sets, new measurable sets in a, sets in lambda mu, and A is equal to union n runs from one to infinity, A n, then norm of, suppose they belong to pretty characteristic functions or measurable sets, they do belong to A mu either. So if I take the eth norm of chi A minus summation I runs from one to n, chi A i, Norm. So this would be by definition, it would be what it would be, chi of A minus summation I runs from one to N chi A I raised to power P D mu whole raised to power one by P. Now, now, I can write them as parallel P is equal for a name for Nevala Q. Now, the equation numbers, eh? We should adopt this. Okay. So, what I'm saying to, what I'm trying to say, A is equal to union N runs from one to infinity AI. So, the x to have the domain here it is the of course a ends are contained inside x they are subsets of x which are new measurable mm, so if x belongs to x right suppose x belongs to x and x lies outside these sets x belongs to does not belong to a of course, ye bhi zero ho jayega, ye bhi zero ho jayega. Raise power p. No, p se koi fark nahi to padega. Zero raise power p is zero. In case x belongs to any of these AIs, suppose x belongs to say a one or a up to a n, in me se kisi me hai, to ye one ho jayega, hai na? Kyunki kisi agar a one me hai, they are disjoint, to baaki se agar zero ho jayega, so this would be one. This would also be one because it is union of one. So it's again zero. Lekin agar X belong karta hai a n plus one ya usse aage. To agar unme se kisi me hai, ye to a jayega one ya jayega zero. So it is either one and zero. To one or zero raised power p ko hum, it would still be the same thing. And agar me p ko hata do, one raised power p is p and zero raised power p is zero. Zero raised power p is also zero. So I can just replace it and apply the linearity of the integrals. So this would be integral chi a d mu minus summation i runs from one to n integral chi a i d mu whole raised power one by p, uh, which as you know, this should be just out of measure of a minus summation i runs from one to n outer measure of a i whole raised to power one by p. And which of course, because mu is a measure and these are measurable sets, so it's countably additive. So this would go to zero as n approaches infinity, right? Because, because, because this is equal to this, mu of a is just going to be summation n runs from one to infinity, mu of a i. I am any mu star account, but doesn't matter. We have got an outer measure that when restricted to new measurable set becomes mu. So it's going to mu be dexata or mu star b because they are same when they are measurable. Okay, so this goes to zero as an approach infinity. And using the continuity of f, the capital F, using the continuity of f, what does that mean? Let me write it. It's capital F. Summation i runs from one to n mu of a i would be equal to by our 
idea f of chi of ai so f is linear so this can be written as summation irons from one to n chi ai which would be now uh, which would go to f of a f of chi a say it which is equal to new of a by our definition so we can that is as n approaches infinity that means new of a is equal to summation n runs from one to infinity new of a n. so therefore which implies that new is a sign major Uh -huh, measure. Sign measure, you know? Come on. Sign measure, you know? So, yeah. Hello, everybody. Either. Anybody home? You know what's a sign measure? What's a measure? Sign measure. What's a measure? Hello. Research, Mr. Sobe. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Achha. So what's the measure? Signed measure? Red on nicodium theorem? Which we use karunga. Are you read the measure theory pe kafi sara courses? Yes, sir. Pada hai. So measure pada hai, hai na? Measure would be a set function defined on some semi ring which has certain properties that mu of phi it is extended real number system, so it's a map from zero to infinity. And infinity is the measure of a set can be infinity with these properties measure of phi is equal to zero, and measure of some of AB. Biblical summation AI equal to me, sorry. Language of A. Me, measure of union n runs from one to AI is equal to summation I Union of this one Mu of AI. Biblical. But the Yedo properties on each other, or it should be an extended non negative. So, yes, Hasatme, I am saying that AIs are disjoint. If this joint sets clear. Now, sign measure is the same. Addition thing. or addition or multiplication. Sign measure is the Minus infinity to infinity. It could be any real number, not just non negative. Real. With these properties, accept an additional property that mu can either assume. Infinity or minus infinity. It cannot assume both. So then there is a problem. So signed major hota a function from uh, what you might call an algebra or, or summing of sets uh, into extended real number system from minus 26. Ha, kya problem hota? 26 raised hand. Okay, so it cannot assume both. Otherwise, baki sab kuch ye do properties honi chahiye. So that would be a sign measure. So now, humara jo new hai, iski ye dono properties hai. Mu of phi is zero. Mu of phi is zero. Humne liya abhi kaha gaya? Ah, mu of phi is zero. Or jab mene disjoint sequence ki, measurable sets ki, then, then what? Uh, it is countably additive. It is countably additive. It is new humne defined kiya. So it is a sign measure because now sign is liye hai kyunki iska jo range hai wo real numbers hai not just non-negative real numbers. So therefore it's a sign measure. So yahaan par humne agar tum dekho humne basically defined kiya hai f ki madad se measure. Tumara jo bounded linear functional hai uski madad se humne ek sign measure defined kiya. ठीक है, okay, let me go ahead. अभी हमें बहुत करना है, तुम तो यहाँ छोटी-छोटी चीजों पे, okay, moreover, 
Of course, it's a finite measure. I should have written here. It's a sine measure, but it's also finite. Because its range is, that is f of something. And f is not an infinity. It's a finite number because we are talking about a map from Lp to R. So it's a finite sign measure. And moreover, moreover, if for A belongs to new measurable sets, mu of mu star yeah, mu of A is equal to zero, then of course, then characteristic function of A, Jofogi, it would be zero almost everywhere. Right? Because the set on which guy is one is, is zero. And A per ye, sorry, I can uh, Characteristic function of A is one on a set of major zero. Yani ye baki har zero hai. So it is zero almost everywhere. And therefore, therefore, mu of A is equal to F of chi A would be equal to F of zero, that's equal to zero. Because jo hamara LP space hai, jaysi mainne kaha tha last time, mein maanta hoon zero, agar koi almost everywhere hai, toh mein usko additive identity maan. So additive identity of the vector space would be sent by a linear map to zero, so chi of A would be zero. Which means, if you remember, which means that mu is absolutely continuous, absolutely continuous with respect to mu. Yani, if mu is a set ka major zero, then the new major is also zero. We have defined a new sign measure defined kiya for a given measure mu. Uh, so, so, so what? So new is absolutely continuous. Definition is not much extra implication. It's just a definition of absolute continuity of one measure with respect to other. So there now now what happens? Radon Nicodium theorem applies. So Radon Nicodium theorem is what Let me in case you have forgotten. Radon Nicodium theorem says if let new be a signed measure. Sign a finite sign measure, which is our finite sign measure, uh, absolutely con absolutely continuous with respect, to, with respect to a sigma finite measure mu, then. There exists a unique f belonging to the integrable functions L1 mu such that mu of A is equal to integral over A FD. So this is Radon Nicodium theorem. I just showed that uh, mu is, is a finite sign measure. That's absolutely continuous with respect to a finite measure because I am assuming it as my step one. Step one, I assume that it's a finite measure space. So therefore, it is sigma finite. Sigma finite is a finite is a stricter condition. Okay. So Radon Nicodium theorem ke hisab se, I am slow ja raha isme. We have kuch kya nahi. Hence, by Radon Nicodium theorem, I can find this function. G, F now, it doesn't matter. F now, already use There exists a unique function G belonging to L1 mu such that this major nu can be written as an integral of uh, integral of an integrable function with respect to the earlier major. Actually, major or integral ka aisa hai, jaise murgi or anda. It's difficult to say pahle kona hai. 
you can define an integral with this with the help of a measure and you can define a measure with the help of an integral so both ways it goes actually so so once i have written it like this thus for every a belonging to mu measurable sets f of chi a is equal to it is new of a no, but then this is equal to integral a g d mu, which can be written as integral g into characteristic function of a d mu. I shall accept them for some unique number drive g belonging to L1 mu. It can be written as for any f actually you can write it as g into f. Now we have a characteristic function for us, we have reached there, which is requirement. And furthermore, I have to show g has to belong to lp, lq, not l1. Okay? Good. Now, so I think this step will be understood. I'm going to integrate here over whole space x. But when I have a characteristic Function say multiply करूँ it is as good as integrating over over the set A क्योंकि A complement पे तो of course इसका value zero होगा क्योंकि characteristic function साथ है okay by linearity of f अब हम use कर सकते हैं f is linear it follows that because f is a linear function f of phi can be written as integral phi into g d mu for all step functions. So we are going from what? Because step function is a linear combination of characteristic functions. So we can go there. So we can just apply the linearity of f get this that's rather straightforward so remember this part to hum point way up to hum chat in for step functions like in south memory we can g belongs to lp abina to hum a pending hai um now let now let a be the set all x belonging to x such that G X is greater than or equal to zero. As is three elements, and B be the set all X belonging to X such that G X is negative. Now you have to remember, when we say G belongs to L one mu, what does that mean? G is in the first place measurable. So it means that first of all, A and B both are sets measurable because they are the inverse image of क्या बोलते हैं मतलब ये तो डेफिनेशन है मेजरेबिलिटी ऑफ़ एन फंक्शन सो इन वी आर मेजरेबल एंड इफ आई चूज एंड लेट एफ बी एन नॉन नेगेटिव फंक्शन दैट बिलोंग्स टू एल पी मू सो देन वी कैन चूज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ़ स्टेप फंक्शंस तो इफ यू हैव एन नॉन नेगेटिव सो वी कैन चूज लेट मी राइट डाउन वी चूज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ़ स्टेप � We call them as phi n with we can always do that zero less than equal to phi n and phi n converging upwards to f and if phi n birthday birthday f karjata. Look, this is this is a theorem that if you have a non-negative measurable function, then you can find a sequence of non-negative step functions that would converge upwards to that non-negative measurable function. So that's a theorem from major theory. Okay. Then if I take this set, phi n multiplied by chi a into g, this can be written as phi n um, g plus the positive part of the function. You know what's the positive part of the function? 
पॉजिटिव पार्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन होता है व्हाट इज पॉजिटिव पार्ट g of x ऐसे डिफाइंड है इट इज इक्वल टू चलो मैं खुद ही लिखता हूं g of x इफ x इफ g of x इज पॉजिटिव सो दैट्स इक्वल टू 0 इफ g of x इज नेगेटिव and we define negative part of the function also as is equal to minus g of x i think if g of x is negative this is equal to 0 otherwise so so positive part of function is always a non negative function and so is the negative part because it is minus g of x when g of x is negative and you can always write a function as difference of its positive part ये तो मैं किया होगा तो सॉरी g of x कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस g माइनस of x यू कैन चेक इट एक्चुअली ये तो मैं बहुत पहले किया होगा सो एनीवे जो जब मैं इसको करैक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शन ऑफ a से मल्टीप्लाई करता हूं वहां पर तो फंक्शन सिर्फ पॉजिटिव है सो इट हैज टू बी ओनली द पॉजिटिव पार्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन इट वुड बी सेम एज द पॉजिटिव पार्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन एंड दिस वुड कन्वर्ज क्योंकि फाइन कन्वर्जेस टू f द नॉन नेगेटिव f so this must converge to f to g plus and upwards because i am multiplying by a non negative number for each x because it means point wise convergence by the way so it would the order would be preserved by multiplication by g plus so this is done and how about limit n approaches infinity phi n chi a minus f chi a in the pth norm should this should be zero of course because phi n converges to f and matlab non negative hum keh rahe hain agar hum a ko matlab what does this mean jab hum characteristic function a se multiply karte hain we are actually restricting its domain to a usse koi fark nahi padega is convergence pe Okay, so where are we? So by the continuity of f again, by the continue, ये खत्म होने वाला है डेढ़ मिनट है तो जैसे ही बंद हो जाए तुम फिर से ज्वाइन करोगे. This capital F, I should have limit n approaches infinity integral phi n g plus d mu because this converges to f g. This should be limit n approaches to f of phi n. Chi a, right? Because this converges to f chi a. So, but this is a stiff function, so you can just write it as. Hmm, what should I write it as? Limit को अंदर ले जाते हैं. This converges to f chi a, so it should be just. चलो मैं लिखते हैं तुम्हारे लिए एक step extra तुम्हारे लिए. But मैं direct लिख सकता था f of एफ का राइट सो सो विच ऑफकोर्स वुड बी अ फाइनाइट नंबर बिकॉज एफ हैज इट्स टू मेन एज रियल नंबर सो सो आई गोट अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ नाउ इन 